Okay, in this video, we are going to apply work energy concepts in some questions. Okay, the concept that we're going to apply, the principle of energy conservation, which means that the starting total energy will always be equal to total energy, ending total energy. Or, if the starting and total ending energy of the object is different, it is because there is some work done that is on the object. There are two cases. If there is an increase in energy, then there is some positive work done injected into the object. If there is a decrease in energy, then that means that there is some negative work done that drain the energy out of the object. Okay, so this is the first question. You can pause the video and read the question. What you need to apply is that the concept is the principle of conservation of energy, which is the starting energy equals the ending energy. The starting energy, in this case the energy we are talking about is the potential energy and kinetic energy of the object start and the potential and kinetic energy at the end. So it starts on a height of 80. You find that um, the potential energy is just simply mgh which is 80 times mg. In this case they didn't give you a mass but it is alright because later we are going to uh, cancel them out. And kinetic energy um, in this case it is considered to be zero if the object is at rest. So total energy is just simply 80 plus 0, 80 mg joules. So the object will slide down to the level of 30. So in this case again we apply the same thing. Potential energy equals to mgh, in this case is 30. So we apply the principle of conservation of energy by the total energy that at the start is equals to the total energy at the end over here. So 30 plus the kinetic energy which is unknown at this current point in time. But since we know that the total energy was 80 uh, at the start, so 80 is substituted over here. So 80 is equals to this and you can simply find out the kinetic energy is actually equals to 50 mg. So the question asks you for the ratio of the kinetic energy to the potential energy. So just arrange them accordingly. 50 to 30 and you know that of course this can cancel cancel and uh, the ratio will be 5 is to 3. C. This is question number 2. We find that there are two forces and they give you the mass and uh, some speed. Okay, then they give you another force uh, but in this case push 2 mass to m and then to a speed of 2v and they are asking you to find the ratio of uh, force work done by force 2 to the force 1. So the concept applied is that in this case the principle of conservation doesn't apply because there's some work done at which caused the object to increase its uh, energy. So the work done would actually cause the increase in kinetic energy. And since the object starts from rest, okay, from rest at to a velocity v, so uh, which means that the kinetic energy in this case is zero. So whatever work done that is done by the force is actually equivalent to the kinetic energy in the end. So for work done by force number one, denoted by this, is equals to simply uh, uh, kinetic energy at the end, so half times uh, mv squared. Okay. Then correspondingly, the work done by force number two is actually half times mass of the second case, but in this case it's 2m, and then it is changed to 2v, so it's 2v squared. So this is the end kinetic energy of situation number two. If you do a bit of rearrangement or multiplication, so it will be half times 2m and 4v squared. So we just square this, okay, you had something like that. And in this case, what I want to do is that I'll bring out this 2 and 4 out, so that it's equivalent to 8 half mv squared. Okay, first the purpose of doing this is because I want to change this so that this actually half mv squared was the original uh, work done uh, one. Okay, as illustrated over here. So then of course we can find the ratio of work done uh, because it's eight times of uh, work done number one. Okay this question you find that the trolley moves horizontally uh, distance x and then uh, raise as simultaneously so it takes the path of this going over to here. You find that okay one of the key questions to answer this question is, is that it starts and finish at rest. Okay, this is very important. Okay, if you don't don't uh, highlight this, you find that you have problem doing it. Okay, they want you to find out what is the uh, in the process, what is the work done on the load. 
Again, we, uh, for this case, we compare the start energy level and the ending energy level of the load. Later, I'll explain why. Okay, assume that the load starts at the height of level 0, so this is the reference level. This is considered to be height equals 0. Then your potential energy at the start is considered to be mgh since h is 0, so of course it's 0. Okay, uh, the load starts at the rest. Um, we find that kinetic energy is equal to 0 joules. So the load ends up at an increased height okay, of h. So in this case, the kinetic energy is uh, here is 0, but the potential energy is increased high, so it's mg, mgy, okay, but it, uh, we are given that the mg is with w, so it is wy j joules. So, uh, yep, as illustrated, kinetic energy over here is also 0, okay, because it ends at rest. You find that the work done on this load uh, is the difference between the starting energy level, like I mentioned before, you have a certain uh, energy over here and another level of energy over here. You find that of course this was zero. This is some uh, Wy. So in order for the energy to increase from zero to here, there must be some work done. And that's the, what we uh, want to find out. Okay, so the work done in this case will be the ending energy subtract away the starting energy, which is the uh, ending energy is W, okay, the total energy, and then this is was uh, starting with 0, so you have the WYJ, which is the answer is B. Okay. I hope that explains how we apply the concepts. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.